Hi everyone, I am Chaitanya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be teaching you about binomial lattice model, which is a really important model for you to model stock prices or derivatives. This model was proposed by William Sharp. In today's video, our goals will be to know what a binomial lattice model is, what are the assumptions behind this model. This is really necessary because you need to know when the model fails and when it doesn't when you need to apply it and when you need to avoid using it and how finally how to implement the binomial lattice model on python from scratch without using any intermediate libraries and we'll be able to build everything from basic now a binomial lattice model is a lattice based model which is leveraged to price equity that is stocks derivatives including futures options you could price commodities using it and other assets too. It utilizes binomial trees to compute price paths for an underlying asset. Let's say there's a stock whose current price is 100 and down the line that is after one year the price is 200 rupees. So the thing is from 100 to 200 you don't know what will the path be. The path can be 100 then 99 then 101 then Im immediately it could be 200 something like that the path is completely random you can't predict it so in this model we compute all the parts and then we calculate the fair price of the product by assuming all the parts we'll in this video we'll be using this model to price stocks now the assumptions behind this binomial lattice model are Efficient market hypothesis plays a key role over here. Now what is efficient market hypothesis? It states that a given stock price reflects all the available information about that stock in the market. So whenever a, the stock price changes, it changes whenever there is an upcoming info about some stock. And in this model, we do not worry about past history of stocks. Again, uh, efficient market hypothesis comes into picture and henceforth we worry only about what the future price will be and we start with the current stock price at the base now this is a one step binomial lattice model in this you could see there's a, a stock price uh, s naught let's say let's say you go to the market right now and you see the stock uh, price to be rupees 100 so that would be your s naught now what you are trying to say is that stock price is going to jump it's not going to move continuously you are saying that it's going to jump in a definite time to only two of the possible values for now so you are saying that okay there's a probability p uh, that your stock price will go 20 percent up for example and there's a prob probability 80 uh, percent that your stock price will go 30 percent down so here it is you are starting with a basic price S0, you are saying ok there is a probability P attached with the stock going up to what level? U% percent up that is S0 into U will be the final price and again there is a 1 minus P probability that it will go down to the price S0 into D. It does not mean that the price touches that level and goes back again only means that let's say you start at 9 a.m. and your model is between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. so you are saying that at 9 a.m. I am starting at 100 and at 10 a.m. the price must either be S0 U or S0 D it won't be anything else although this seems pretty flawed because how could it be possible that this could be the only two prices possible and how are we predicting that but for building the model right now these assumptions are required uh, in the coming video I'll show you how to utilize this model or how to tweak your parameters accordingly such that uh, you could utilize this model up to a larger extent uh, now for this uh, now this is the Jupyter notebook of the binomial lattice model I have explained you what the model is and what are the assumptions behind it although the assumptions are written in much greater detail in this uh, Jupyter notebook which I'll be sharing in the videos uh, description you may look it later all the assumptions and the required mathematics are listed but I have explained you it in layman terms so if you want to get into the depth of what the mathematics involved are then you can look into this 
now for the binomial lattice model uh, the thing is we are saying that uh, the stock price goes to either s not u with probability p or s not d with the prob uh, probability 1 minus p uh, now we are calculated calculating the expected value of stock at that point of time that is in future which will be s not u into p plus s not d into 1 minus p now we are taking out the present value of that bringing it to the present uh, we calculate the expected value of stock based on our path in present and we are saying that expected value must be equal to the current stock price again efficient market hypothesis the price must be fair and if not then there would be arbitrage situations although you know that this is not always true that the price remains fair but again efficient market hypothesis is an important assumption and you need to look out whenever it fails or when it doesn't now you calculate the expected stock value uh, you can see the formula over here now we need to find out what is the probability of price going to your levels that is your two defined levels s not u and s not d so the probability using the above mathematical formula uh, finally doing all the stuff you could reach out to the uh, respective term that is probability equals to 1 minus present value of downward movement divided by present value of upward movement minus present value of downward movement everyone knows probability always is less than equals to 1 and in our case it it, it is uh, following that due to no arbitrage condition although uh, you could find out the uh, about uh, no arbitrage condition in much detail in the above uh, text in the Jupyter notebook now we are going to implement that uh, the binomial lattice model uh, I haven't uh, I won't write the code in front of you I have already written it to save time so we are importing the math library to uh, do some exponential operations we have written a present value function in which x is the future price r is the prevailing risk-free interest rate t is the time period to which you want to discount to the nature because uh, the discounting could be continuous or could be discrete so you need to take into account what is the type of discounting which you prefer so in our case we are taking it to be continuous in future videos i'll be incorporating the discrete compounding and multi-step binomial models etc so we would be making it much more flexible and uh, yeah and this one more thing which uh, please stay tuned till the end of the video i'll be telling you that because it's uh, uh, really uh, about the future videos uh, now if the nature is continuous then you would return the current price into discounting factor which is exponential of minus prevailing interest rate into time period which you are looking into uh, now this is the function of uh, calculating the probability for binomial lattice model uh, let's not move on to that first let's see what uh, what our parameters are first of all we need to have the interest rate per annum prevailing interest rate i am taking uh, rbi's uh, 91 day a treasury bill yield which is 3.44 percent you can see in july 2 3.44 percent so i'm taking it to be 3.44 divided by 100 that is 0 0.0344 current stock price basically i am taking the price for nifty right now so 15,900. you that is i am now saying that the price will either go to 16,500 or it will go to 15,300 at the end of my period over which I am analyzing the stock. So uh, the U will be 16,500 divided by S0 because we need to calculate by what factor it's going up or by what factor it's going down. Similarly, we'll calculate D. Now the time to maturity, it could be one year, it could be one month, it could be one day, one hour, one minute, anything. I want to show you how the model looks like. So, so I'm giving it an array of time. That is first um, the model would be ran on uh, one year, then on six months, then on one month, then on one day, then on one hour. Now we calculate the risk neutral probability for this model. So for binomial lattice model, as you could see above, the formula was 1 minus present value of D divided by PVU minus PVD. So we have implemented that, exactly that in the function. And finally, we are returning the value of probability. Now probability means it's a risk neutral probability of what? Of upside movement of stock to the desired level which we are which in our case is 16,500 for binomial lattice model. Please note that it is a single step binomial lattice model. In the coming videos, we'll be implementing multi-step binomial lattice model, which will be much more real and much more, which will have much more implications. 
now uh, we are running a for loop for each time in the time array we are calculating the probability using the function which we have built for binomial lattice model finally we are printing the probability of stock going to a desired level uh, for the respective duration and uh, what's the probability for that so as you could see uh, you could uh, run this and uh, you could see that probability of stock going 16,500 in 365 days is 0.9637 uh, this ideally should be true because uh, you would know that uh, this is a positive inclination in a stock market. So uh, although the prevailing interest rate is 3.44%, I guess. So 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 uh, this positive inclination, hence for the probability of it going up, should be more. But whenever you uh, and again, there are your assumptions. So please note that due to those assumptions, also the probabilities can be hyped. But whenever you reduce the consecutive time period that is instead of 365 days if you would be taking one minute the probability will be much more real in this uh, uh, string we would see that so in 16,500 in six months the probability is 0.7299 you would be seeing that it's decreasing and ideally it should it should go to 0.5 why because since we are uh, assuming that there's no dependence on past movement so if you are taking uh, 600 points up and 600 points down so there should be nothing stopping it from going up or down like there's no impose so the probability should be 0 0.5 0 0.5 each uh, because the point is the both events are almost equal in a shorter time frame because then your inclination is not uh, sloping up that is market is not going up you can't say that so in 60 days uh, in in one month you could see it's 0.53 you see it is approaching towards 0 0.5 in one day it is 0 0.5 and again in one hour it's reducing so it's going to 0 0.5 continuously and uh, definitely that should be the thing because uh, i'll tell you the current stock price is 15900 and you i won't uh, show you any past historical data and i'll ask you what is the probability of it going 60 600 up or 600 down you would definitely say it's 0 0.5 up 0 0.5 down because i don't have any info henceforth it's 0 0.5 now uh, in this video as you have seen we have implemented the binomial lattice model it's a one step binomial lattice model now in reality people implement a multi step binomial lattice model that is where the price paths comes into the picture that means that for example you want to forecast uh, the price for one day so what you would do is you would discretize your periods into five minutes each and uh, one day divided by five minutes those many periods will occur as you would see that these many one two parts from one then two from each one two then three then four accordingly it increases and you would see that there are multiple parts which we are accounting for so this makes the model really uh, realistic when you would be implementing a multi-step binomial model which i would be doing in the future and uh, also i'll be creating a gui using kinta over where i'll implement and also integrate all these models the binomial lattice model the black schultz model which i'll be bringing later everything in in that gui and we'll be regularly updating that gui in the upcoming videos and you could you won't need to interfere with your code and you would directly go to your gui you will say okay i want binomial lattice model and continuous compounding it will ask you for parameters you will input that and you will press enter and it will give you the output so that will be really good so our main goal is that and we'll try implementing that so thank you for watching my video uh, please like share and subscribe the video and keep tuned for future notifications thank you